Hey everybody, Thomas here, and today is resaw day. So what I'm doing is I'm throwing on any boards that I have that have it kind of like a flat edge at least on one side, and then I'm going to take them down from a denomination where they have some live edge to a denomination where they do not have live edge. So right now everything I have on the left hand side is like in the 8 inch range. And I'm going to get a few more boards on there. And my goal is to try to get some 6 inch range. Now some of these will be for um, rafters or, or headers on the uh, extension onto the carport that I'm adding. And some of these will be studs for the new building I'm working on. So without further ado, I'll continue working here. Now, not all of these are, of course, the same thickness. So this one right here is like a one-inch board. And a one-inch board I can use for the subflooring. And it's best if you can get them where they have at least one flat edge on them. If they don't, like some of these boards here, I'll throw those back on there later. Uh, they may not have a clean edge on both sides. See this right here, only a little bit of live edge at the very end. But the good thing is, the ones I have on here, the bottoms are flat on one side. I'm lucky that these are, uh, I cut a lot of 8 inch stock recently, so pretty, pretty lucky in that aspect. Save this one for later. Save some of these. I think we got enough on there for right now. This one I could throw on there, which I, I'll go ahead and do that because I'm going to make two cuts on this one, but I already have a decently straight edge on one side. I want to get rid of this side first. This one will not make a two by six or inch and a half by six. It'll end up making a inch and a half by four. All right, that's a pretty good load on there right now. So let me get the tractor back. We'll get it off. Now, anyone who has a sawmill has a lot of these boards just sitting around. I mean, I've got a stack of these. Some of these have been out for a while. They may have a little bit of mildew on them and stuff like that, but overall, they're in pretty good condition. This is all uh, southern yellow pine. It's a mixture of loblolly and longleaf. Um, most of this, it's about 50 50 split, really, to tell you the truth. Uh, but these will make some really pretty boards. Um, like I said, I'm adding on. An extension onto Cherie's milking stand because as the sun sets in the afternoon uh, she's getting a lot of sun on her and, and it's the heat so we're gonna go ahead and add an extension on there and then whatever else I can get out of this I might have I don't really care if if, if I I could even use that as a stud I don't really care I'm building it myself um, it's gonna have the thickness but uh, for the most part we'll we'll see what we can get out of here go from there All right, so we'll go ahead and start the water. I don't have a whole lot of water, but I got enough to finish this. I'll run the water a little bit heavy. When you're cutting like this, uh, you get some weird stuff going on. Got a decently sharp blade on there. So as you see on the scale right there, it's 
also the same as on my screen. I'm going to go ahead and cut at six inches. Six inches will clean up a lot of these faces and I'll take a lot of these boards off. And the one far board on the far right side, I'll actually leave back on when I put the next stack on there and turn that into a uh, denomination of four inches. Got a hitch. Go ahead and turn off the water. So as we're looking through these again, I made myself essentially a couple big stickers, if you want to call them that. Some of these are inch and a half, some of these are two inches, all over the place. But Nothing will be wasted, which is the goal on the farm, pretty much in life, don't waste. You can never know what you're going to need. What's these for? Alright, so we are going to put this one board here, I'll, I'll keep back on there. But I mean, these are all clean, clean boards right now. What I'll do is I will lift these up with the uh, tow boards or anything to make getting these off a lot easier. Let's see, it might be a little bit of vibration, but we'll try it. makes it oh so much easier to get these logs off having the ability to lift it about four foot or four inches excuse me off the deck so now all these are in uh, six inch denomination by whatever thickness they are and I've got some looks like two and a quarter some twos some inch and a half inch and a quarter it's kind of all the, across the board but it's wood that I'm not having to cut a tree up for it's something I already had I just Kind of reusing it. So let me get uh, this off of the tractor and we'll go for round two. All right, now we'll get the tractor on there and get those off.
have this first one here, which is a inch and a half by six right now. She does have a bit of a twist to her, but oh well, that's all right. This one here is got a bow to it, but again, I'll probably use this one for a, like a rafter or something like that. Not a rafter, a slack for underneath metal roof. This one here is, appears to be in a six inch denomination. That'll be a good addition. This one here again appears to be six inches. It's best if you have them all roughly the same. Uh, that way you're not doing a whole lot of uh, maneuvering around. So if I had a 12 inch wide board on here, I wouldn't necessarily want to be uh, cutting it all into you know six inch or four inch denomination. I might want to change it up and try to get a two by ten or or two by eight out of it. But as long as they're all about the same size, it makes it easy. These ones are pretty clean. These are ones I cut the other day. That's fine. This one appears to be a Six inch denomination, and it does have a live edge, and it's a heavy board. One of those uh, Bob Lollies right there. This one is does not have a straight edge on either side, but I've got nearly a straight edge on one side, so I'll use that my straight edge, and when I do my cut, I'll just flip it over. This one is like a 9 or 10 inch denomination. into something usable. I always store these for a rainy day. I've got a stack of boards everywhere you look. In fact, if you just look right here next to the sawmill, these are some off cuts of, there's some hickory in there and some uh, poplar. I got some cedar, just random stuff. You never know. I actually might use some of those for the slats that go up underneath where the tin's at. I found that the poplar looks pretty good. It tends to be bug resistance, resistant, but one thing I'll say about that, sorry, I'm adjusting the camera here. Uh, those uh, carpenter bees, regardless of um, how bug resistant it may be, they're still going to chew into stuff and eat it up. So this is going to be kind of fun. Let's see if I can get these over there without having them all fall over. <laughs> I really should have had the uh, tow boards down. water but I got enough for one cut.
boxes. And I'll get uh, the wrappers I need to Not too bad. I did kind of goober up. I should have. Um, I should have made two cuts. The first, the first two boards on the outside there. Uh, they're wider. I don't know what I was thinking, but I can throw them back on here and maybe get a couple stickers out of it. I might be able to get something. I don't know. We'll see. But again, that's a uh, quick, down and dirty. How you can make some uh, leftover boards turn into some usable boards for upcoming projects every guy with a sawmill or gal with a sawmill i'm sure that they uh, they've got a stack of wood just sitting out there waiting to be utilized and i will utilize every bit of this as we work towards the completion of the subfloor it's been kind of put on postpone uh or put on hold there because i've been working a few other jobs and if you see on the house over there so you've got the milking stand which has a little metal you know four foot little metal wall there well out in front of it i've got these two poles right there and i've got the side by side that'd be a perfect parking for the side by side and that's where i'm talking about i have to extend that lean-to roof all the way across and as you can see further in the distance my wife is uh, working on actually painting the house we've gone with a dark blue color and i'll be making some cedar shutters out of that so stay tuned and we'll have some good videos on that hope this has been interesting just uh you know i figured i'd film something that was uh it's kind of mundane, but it's something that we do on the farm. All right, we'll see you around. Thanks. Okay, so this will be the conclusion. This just shows I had the scrap wood. I put it on there. I did two cuts, and this was the yield. Pretty good. Now, there were, I think, three or four boards already on the tractor that were uh, did not need to be cut. But for two cuts, I mean, that's a mess of wood to work with there to get some projects done. So, yeah, onward on to uh, the next project.